Hi, uh, Pierre. Um, so what was it about uh, Jean-Patrick Manchette's The Prone Gunman that drew you to it? What, what did you want to develop the film from? Um, I, I don't remember specifically. I remember reading the book when I was way younger. It's a French novel that I read when I was young. And I liked the uh, slightly cynical world where it was taking place. And uh, when we decided to, uh, to make it a movie, uh, the idea or the challenge was to make it a bit more contemporary because uh, the world now is not the world of 30 years ago or 40 years ago. So uh, that, was, that, was the, that was the challenge and the deal. It's like, okay, how does this world, which got even worse than what it was in some ways, uh, can be, uh, can be the, the background for our story? You're, of course, known for films such as like Taken mm -hmm. and uh, District 13. Is the action genre the genre you want to push with, or would you be interested in sort of developing out? And I mean, I know this is part love story <coughs> as well, so would you ever go into the rom com? <coughs> Why not? I've never really thought about doing a rom com. I, I always never also consider movies that I just. I don't like to classify movies into genres, that's the thing. I mean, it is, yes, there is action. It's not action movie per se. There's more than that in every movie I'm trying to do. I'm always driven by, by stories rather than than uh, action. Uh, mm. If if the story is okay and there's action in it, then Bonus. great. Yeah. If it's just action for action's sake, well, it's fun. It's entertaining, but it's not as attracting to me. So, whatever the genre, whatever you no know, type of movie, if you want to put a label on it. Yeah. I'm happy to tackle, uh, and if there's action in it, it's fun, right? Um, when I did this one, the idea was not just to make action movie. It was, it was, uh, as as we said from the previous question, it's it's it has a political background. There's there's a romance. There's uh, stories of betrayal. There's mm -hmm. like very you know, complex relationships between many players, and that's what was interesting, I think, in this one. You say uh, the complexity of the many <coughs> players and the actors in it. What do you think um, the characters? that you know, portrayed in the film, that the actors would have found so attractive to want to play. I mean, it's full of quite intense characters. Do you think that the actors would have like, jumped onto that, or...? I, I think, it, 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 well, to, to attract such a level of, of cast, I mean, those actors, they, I was blessed with the cast. I mean, they're all fantastic, and they're all doing uh, a genre that had never been tried before, let's say. Yeah. Uh, so to get them to, to, to try that, I think you need to, to give them very, very interesting characters to play. And all of those, because they're not like you know, cardboard characters, but they have depth and complexity, that's what attracts them to play. And that was right for Sean. I mean, his character is not an action hero. He's uh, an action hero with many flaws and like a really uh, complex thought process of like what he did, what he was supposed to do, what he should have not done, what he should have done. Is a, is a you know, conflicted guy, which I think makes it interesting for Sean to play. Um, his ex-partners, played by Mark Rylance, by Javier Bardem, are all very complex guys, which just like you never know what you get. When it's not WYSIWYG. It's like, okay, hmm. you see a guy, is it really that guy or is it another guy? And that's what makes them interesting, I think. Yeah, I think <clears> the characters <throat> were very sort of complex and built up, and I think it really worked. I mean, do you think the political element will come across, though, to, say, the people who do just want to go see an action film because mm. that's what they see. Do you think the message would s still come across to them? I, I hope it does. I mean, that, the, the, the purpose of the movie was not to make a, a political statement. That's mm. not the point. It's just a, 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 a not a backdrop, but, yeah, kind of a backdrop to what the, the our plot is. Uh, it's not based on real events. It's based on a real situation, with a real country, but not exactly those events. There was nothing like this that actually happened. Specifically, uh, but it does uh, it does open a window of what uh, what the wider world politics can be sometimes, and uh, how a crime or for for the bad reasons can happen every day. Mm -hmm. Not only because you're a bad guy, but because you're being ordered by a, a bigger you know, power to do what to yeah. do. Yeah. Well, I love the film. So <laughs> thank you. There we go. Uh, thank you very much. <coughs> My pleasure. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, yeah. Is that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!